Geisha is in court to claim £2,000 for the value of a prop another artist borrowed and is refusing to return. Defendant Eugene says he owes nothing, as the prop was a gift. Not Halloween, is it? <laughs> now, I've got Geisha here, is that right? Yes. Geisha, and you're dressed very colourfully today, and part of the reason you're, you're dressed colourfully is that you're a performance artist, that's right, isn't it? Yes, I'm a performing artist. Yes. And do you mind looking over here? Is it, it's Eugene, is it? It is. Now, Geisha, just to be clear, that's your real name? Yes. And um, you, I'm going to say have an act, but that's not the right way of putting it. You as an artist, over the years, have built your art around effectively Humpty Dumpty, am I right? Yes, I have. And there you are. That's you with... What, what have you got in your hand there? That's Humpty Dumpty. That's Humpty Dumpty. Did you make Humpty Dumpty? Yes, I made Humpty Dumpty. Well, what did you make Humpty Dumpty from? Humpty Dumpty is an extension of Geisha. Geisha's costume. As in you? You're talking yes. about yourself in I'm the talking, third person. The only about... time I've ever heard anyone okay. do that is the Queen and me. Yeah. Yes? <laughs> and it's a prop that allowed you to complete your work and do your... Performance? Yes, Humpty Dumpty appears in all of my performances. And so when did you first decide to make Humpty Dumpty? 2007 was the first development. I made a song called Humpty Dumpty. And then it took me three years to create the doll Humpty Dumpty. Three years? Yes. Could I see Miss Humpty, would you mind? Of course. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be careful. Now, you made various art with Humpty. That's, that's right, isn't it, Geisha? Yes. Including a song. Yes. And I think you've brought me... Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, you, you made a song um, with Humpty some years ago. Yes. yes, and I think you bought me a copy um, of, or well, you've bought me a version of that song. Yes, I have. Can, can, I, can I see it, please? Yes, you can. Thank you. Let's have a look at what the other type of thing used to do. I see. Where's Humpty? He's there. Right. You also used to do poems as well with Humpty, is that right? In the Humpty Dumpty song, there is poetry. OK, and I think there's a very short verse that you have of that poem. Yes. Can you give me an example of it? Humpty Dumpty was an only egg. He dropped and fell and became a crackhead. All the king's horses, they watched as he bled. The tale of Humpty, the tale so dread! Gosh. Um, <laughs> and that was an expression about... Well, you explain to me what that poem was about, in effect. What were you trying to express to the world? The story of Humpty Dumpty. The story of Humpty Dumpty? Yes, yeah. I mean, I heard it in a rather different way, you see, when I <laughs> was younger. I understood he fell off a wall, perhaps he'd, you know, eaten rather too much. And then all the king's horses and all the king's men, you know, spent a, a while trying to put him back together and the whole thing didn't work. Now, do you remember, Eugene, I'm coming to you now, when you first met Geisha? Uh, a, a contact, a colleague of the two of you? Initially it was, yes. And so the two of you met, and before you met Eugene, were you aware of the type of performance art that Geisha was doing? Yes, I was. Had you seen any of her work live? I had seen a couple of, um, not live, a couple of videos. What did you make of it? I thought she was brave and interesting and had similar ideas to myself. You were making art as well, and yes. I'd like to see some of the art that you were making at the time. That's OK. C can I have a look? Thank you. Of course you can. Thank you. Oh, gosh. This is rather beautiful. Thank you, Judge. Is it painting? It is a painting, yes. And what are you painting, in oils or...? Um, um, oils on canvas. 
And so, as an artist, you um, thought that you could collaborate with Geisha. Now, is that right? In a way. Geisha, you met Eugene and you thought also that he shared in your artistic sensibility. And certainly you had a sort of joint vision about the type of art that you wanted to make. Is that about right? That's about right. And so as a result of that, um, Geisha, the two of you started discussing, I think it's fair to say, making a video together. But That's right. it was a video that was going to be a sort of installation piece. It, yes, that's, that's right. That's right, isn't that's it? That's right. And I think you brought a copy of that uh, video with you. Could, could, I, could I see that, please? Yes. I see. That's the two of you. Right. When you'd finished making the film, who took Humpty? You or Eugene? I lent Humpty to Eugene. When you say you lent it to Eugene, it's a very valuable thing to you, wasn't it? It is, but I felt that we were kindred spirits and that I could trust Eugene would return Humpty to me, knowing that as, as an artist, knowing what it meant to me. Did you say to him, now, the thing is, Eugene, it's very important to me, you need to give Humpty back to me in due course. I have at various times and he seemed to avoid the question and... How long did you expect he would borrow Humpty for? Maybe a few days. A few days. Right. According to Geisha, you handed over Humpty and she thought, in fact, she says she expressed to you, Eugene, that you were only going to have the prop for a few days. Did you only keep it for a few days? First of all, Judge, she did not, you know, borrow it to me. She Lend it to you? She didn't lend it to me. She gave it to me. And I clearly remember that. Now, you've now called her Miss Humpty. That's so right. you um, gave... Humpty Dumpty, a sex change. Let me tell I you, did. that was a phrase I never thought I'd use. Is that right? Yes, you're right. And what did that involve, exactly? You, you bought Humpty a wig, and she then became... Sorry, he then became a she. So Humpty is now a transgendered prop. Yes, you're right, <laughs> Judge. Now, um, what has this done to your friendship, Geisha, Eugene? It's destroyed something that could have been quite a good art adventure. And um, I feel like my child has been kidnapped from me. My artwork is my child because I'm the creator. That's true. Of my so artwork. You're, you're, you're Geppetto to Pinocchio, in other words. Yeah. <laughs> now, what exactly are you claiming for, um, Geisha? I'm claiming for the damages that it's caused and that I won't be able to continue. In terms of the value of Humpty, how much would you say Humpty was worth? Humpty's worth £2,000, <laughs> but I would say that he's priceless. Eugene, how much would you say Miss Humpty, according to you, is worth? To be honest, I think I've given, you know, Miss Humpty a soul, a heart. Um, I plan to, to give Miss Humpty a voice. I wouldn't put a price on it. I mean, how can I put a price on, on such a, a beautiful creature? Are you, are you, are you, you are, just to be clear, because there will be people who don't understand art who may be watching this case, just to be clear, who think that you're making this up. Do you understand? That's right. That you're here to pull a fast one over Judge Rinder. You're here, for whatever reason, to advertise your wares as an artist. Definitely not. You're absolutely sure about that? Definitely not. Geisha. Eugene, this has been one of the strangest cases I've ever sat on, I assure you. And it's also a very difficult one. Because what I do find, Eugene, certainly, is that you are an artist of some considerable skill. Keisha, I also find that you're certainly um, a performance artist of some experience, some depth, and also some integrity, having invested all of your intellectual and your artistic capital in your act, and I've seen the product of that. It may not be to everyone's taste, but on the face of it, it seems to be a work that you've put considerable investment into. So to that extent, it has some considerable value. The problem that I have is I have no meaningful way of coming up with a market assessment, a value or a cost of how much Humpty is worth, because as you rightly say, to you, and in fact also to you, Eugene, Humpty in his male incarnation or Miss Humpty in his female incarnation is priceless. And so therefore I'm unable to award you the full value of your claim of £2,000. It seems to me it may in due course be worth that to one of your fans, but in the absence of evidence I can't come to that conclusion. That being said, 
I do find on any view that Geisha needs Humpty to do her work. And in the absence of Humpty, she is cut off. In other words, her artistic career in the incarnation that she's been working in for seven years is over. In the circumstances, although I have to dismiss your claim, I strongly advise you, Eugene, to give Humpty back and perhaps degender her and give her back in her male form. Humpty, I wish you the very best. That's the order of this court. I'm afraid your claim is dismissed. Geisha lost her case and was awarded nothing by the court. Let's find out how she felt about today's judgment. Geisha is jealous of what I've created with Miss Humpty. I know she, she, she wishes she had thought about, you know, what I've created here. I couldn't make a new Humpty Dumpty because for my audience, they expect to have the original Humpty Dumpty that they've always loved and seen. When you say you lent it to Eugene, it's a very valuable thing to you, wasn't it? It is, but I felt that we were kindred spirits and that I could trust Eugene would return Humpty to me, knowing that as, as an artist, knowing what it meant to me. And you know you gave it to me, so please do not pretend, OK? Don't, don't, don't do any of that. You're really being seriously unfair, seriously. What has this done to your friendship, Geisha, Eugene? This destroyed something that could have been quite a good art adventure. If, like, you could give him back, then me and you could continue. We could, we could still continue in, in our art. We don't have to fall out from this. Um, and, you know, this in the gallery will raise a lot of questions. You know, I think, you know, a lot of kids will ask questions about um, Miss Humpty, and it's, a, it's a, such a wonderful, fantastic opportunity to educate kids about, you know, the whole transgender issue. I don't think that he's going to... I'm ever going to get Humpty Dumpty back. I guess that it's going to be over doing my Geisha and Humpty Dumpty act.